starting at five o'clock in the morning. We can take the ship up toward the glacier. What do you see? Do you see the boat? Good over under on whether we're gonna get eaten by a bear. Mm. Here's to our first night of fresh salmon. Mm. Fresh Alaskan Real. salmon. Yeah. Send out the gold! Well, we've come as close as we can go. Welcome to Juneau, Alaska, wow. my good job. I'm so excited to tell you that we are on an Alaskan cruise. Today is the day that we are gonna go see the glaciers. We're actually cruising through a glacier. It is quite miserable outside. It's 50 degrees and rain. So I've got my coat on. I have my Ugg slippers on, which I don't know if they're gonna make it through the rain because it is, um, it's quite windy. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to go. Okay, so hold on one second. Let me, look, I have all this stuff on my hands. But starting at five o'clock in the morning, we're going through this like, it's called the Endicott Arm. It's a very thin area where there are mountains on each side and glaciers in the water and ice and stuff. That's, <laughs> I've never been here before, so that's what I understand. So it's five, it's now it's 5.20. I got up at five, it's 5.20. Good morning. Hi, Great, thank you, how are you? I'm sorry. You're filming the boat. Yeah, well, I'm filming this way. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go try to look at some glaciers. Wow. <laughs> Have a good day. Yes. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Good morning. good morning. So we're gonna go up here and hopefully see and stay inside for now and then eventually probably go outside, get some blankies and lay outside. The one thing I definitely wanna do today is I wanna sit in a hot tub and look at a glacier. So I have my bathing suit on underneath my outfit. So hopefully that'll happen because it's kind of like a bucket list item. I'm back at my balcony and I don't know if you can tell with the video, if you can, if it even does it justice, but the water is a beautiful, like I would say emerald green and the trees are so pretty. The fog is starting to lift, which is really nice because when we first started and coming in, it was quite foggy and you couldn't see much. But look, you can start to see pieces of the glacier that have cracked off and are floating down and that's the ice in the water. Little pieces of ice, they're getting more and more prevalent. And also, down there was a beautiful waterfall. Can you see that? Just gorgeous. I'm so excited to see the rest of what we're gonna see next. I made it way up top to deck 16. It's called the Solstice Deck. So this is a panoramic view up here of everything. It's a little bit chilly and quite windy, so I'm sure you can hear the wind on the camera. And it didn't even occur to me to bring my dead cat to keep the wind away, but so sorry about that. Anyway, enjoy these views. It is so spectacular. So what we're doing is we're cruising. We just came from there. You can see there's a cruise ship right behind us too, a little teeny bit. It's so cool. So we valley basically and we're going to the way way over there and way over there is going to be the glacier like where the glacier starts and the glacier has lost some of its ice and that's the ice that you see flowing down here those little ice pieces so the captain has a new pilot on board it's an ice pilot and that ice pilot knows this area so well and can determine how far we can take the ship up toward the glacier All right, you guys, we can see the glacier now. We've just come up the, I don't wanna call it a river, I'm not sure what it is, but the glacier is right there. I'm gonna show it to you. There it is. We are coming to the top of the glacier. I cannot believe how far along we are able to go. That is so cool. So what you can see is on either side, you see the mountain and right in the middle, that's the glacier. Like that's all the frozen ice that comes down and the ice parts are coming off of it and they're floating down the river. So I believe that we're gonna go in as far as we can. And we're going in pretty far right now. I couldn't quite 
get over the beauty of this area, how quiet and peaceful it was, how it was just foggy and mysterious. It really felt like heaven. If you listened closely, you could hear the waterfalls. And if you were down on the lower decks and put your ear over the side, you could hear the tinkling of the ice hitting each other. But look how still everything is. I could have stayed there forever. So you guys, so remember how I told you that the captain was going to bring the ship as close as he can to the glacier? Well, we've come as close as we can go and we're going to stay here for a while. He is turning the ship around, so we're going to be able to see all the sights from all the sides. Right now you can hear, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a, there are waterfalls all around us and hopefully you can hear the sound. But also, see that glacier way at the end? It looks to us like we could probably swim there. But she said it's three miles away, so that really gives you some perspective about how huge this area is and how massive it is. So there are two small tour boats that they're gonna put on the water and send them out closer to the glacier so we can watch as they disappear and um, see just, to get, again, gain perspective on how big they are. There's one of those boats going into the glacier. The fog has come down now and it's a bit rainy, so it's not as clear as earlier when we saw it, but we're following. The first boat went, we can't even find it anymore. It's gone. And the second boat going into the abyss as well. <laughs> a little jealous of it though. Would love to be on that boat, getting up close and personal with the Dawes Glacier. It's gorgeous. All right, you guys, we have a traveling iceberg. She said an iceberg said is if it's 13 feet across, right? It's considered an iceberg. That is 100% an iceberg. Wow. And I'm going to pretend I'm a naturalist. Our lady told, the naturalist lady told us that the bluer the ice, the older it is. So as water and pressure compresses down on the ice as it freezes time and time and time again, it becomes bluer and bluer and bluer. Like look at this one, you guys, look how blue that is. And again, these are pieces that have come off the glacier. That is so spectacularly blue. Gorgeous. Dad and I are looking off the front of the ship. What do you see? Do you see the boat? Okay. Keep looking. Okay. We're looking off the front of the ship now, and this, what the ship did is the ship spun, the captain spun the ship, and now we are leaving. That's the glacier behind us, and we are on our way back down what's called the Endicott Arm, and we're headed back towards, um, we're gonna go to Juneau, Alaska, this afternoon, the capital of Alaska. It's, it's, you can see it again. Yes, it's beautiful. Cap, what do you think? What do you think? Pretty beautiful, huh? There's Aunt Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Hey. We got Nana outside. She doesn't like the cold, but she's got her Irish sweater on, so I got her outside to look at this glacier. Oh my gosh. You guys, can you tell how excited I am? I'm like beside myself. I just can't even stand it. I, I would recommend this a thousand over 10. Like it's, it's, it's truly amazing. Truly amazing. All right, you guys, bucket list item for me being in a hot tub while looking at a glacier in Alaska. And we've done it. That? Always wanted to do that. I figured while we're here, I should do that. How about that? Exactly. Thank you. Is that mine?
Thank you, sweetheart. I'll take it. Oh, wait. Actually, that's my stuff right over there. Do you want to just thank you, babe? So Mike's going to join me. You guys, look at that. Uh, we're going through these really cool mountains in Endicott Arm right now. So the glacier is that way. We are headed out, and we are not done. We are now in the dining room for lunch. It is pouring rain outside. We have left... Where did we leave? The Dawes Glacier. Took a nap. Now we're on our way to Juno. I feel like it's only one o'clock and I feel like we've had a full day. Actually at 10.30 we thought we already had a full day. So we're in this beautiful dining room for lunch huh? and I got a salad and of course oh, I bring my own salad dressing because it's my favorite. Yeah, and Doc and everything. Yeah, we got some time. Everybody keeps saying, you gotta eat fast, you gotta eat fast. All those yeah. people. Yeah, they are nerdy. Just hang out here and, and have a romantic sure I think that sounds delightful. <laughs> Welcome to Juno, Alaska, Michael wow. John. Wow. You guys, it is raining and foggy and yucky. So we were supposed to go on a bike excursion, which was going to be this, like, get on a bike and ride it to the glacier and then go drink beer. <laughs> but it is raining cats and dogs, so we decided to, uh, to switch it. So now we're joining my parents. We're going to go visit the glacier, I think, on a bus. And then we are going to eat as much salmon as we can. I mean, I don't think that's the goal of the excursion. It's not like, it doesn't, it's not called like go to a glacier and then eat as much salmon as you can. It's called <laughs> go to the glacier and then have a salmon bake, but it's unlimited salmon. Right, right, right Michael? Right. So there are other ships here. That's our ship right there. Probably Which ones? umbrella. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. We're a hood. <laughs> right, there's Michael John. Here's a, oh, hey, here we go. We're going to go right under here. Look at, there's our boat. There's somebody else's boat. Oh, the Royal Princess. Look at that. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. They right, say that rain is part of the Elastic, <laughs> Alaska experience. You guys, right? Where we were yesterday, you guys, we were in Ketchikan, Alaska. And they said that Ketchikan is the rainiest city in the United States. It averages 360 days of rain. So that means 65 not rain. We got, not only did we not get rain yesterday, we hit the jackpot, we got sunshine all day long. It was the most beautiful day. So I guess we're paying our dues today. Yeah, sunburn yeah Mike totally got sunburn yesterday. So anywho, now we, um, I'm very excited about this excursion. And you know what? This is the deal. The difference between an adventure and an ordeal is your attitude. So rain away. It's all good. Have fun. Are you guys, we are at what's called the Mendenhall Glacier, which earlier today we were in the Dawes Glacier. Wendy is following the yellow brick road, as you can see up there. <laughs> All right, this is an amazingly beautiful glacier as well, and we're going to be able to walk close to it. So we're going to go on the trail. Wow, there's a lot of people on this trail. Holy cow. This is definitely high season for... Uh... I'm so glad it's separated. Me too. And it's, the weather's perfect. It's like 55, I would say. Beautiful out here. All right, Kristen said over under on whether we're going to get eaten by a bear. Oh. Um, I bet we don't. You bet we don't? We just need to go down I'd like to see one. All right, you guys, look, we found a porcupine during our walk. That is him. We take it to the other side here. Do you see him up in the tree? I had no idea that porcupines hung out in trees. Hi, buddy. That is adorable. We are on the walk to Nuggets Falls Trail. We are almost there. I guess they're going to call it Nuggets Falls. I wonder if it's where they found gold the bus, nuggets. The bus is going to Yeah, we're a little concerned about, okay, so Mike and Michelle, oh, Wendy and Tom, mom and dad. Mom and dad weren't going to walk this far anyway because it's a two mile walk. But Wendy and Tom were, and Kristen said were, and so they're like, no, we're not going to make it in time. You guys can't go. We're like, we're going. You can't go. We're going. So we're, we're on our walk, and all of a sudden we see Mike and Michelle walking back. Like, you gotta hurry. It's worth it. You gotta go. So um, we're kind of, we passed a lot of we're people on the walk. Though, we are up against it, and we passed a lot of people on the walk. But we are this far, and we are not stopping. We are gonna go see Nugget Falls and get tons of pictures, and then we are back. We might have to run back to the bus, which is always never, never fun. But um, he did say he will leave without us. He did say, I leave at four on the dot, and I will leave without you if you are not here. I think it's because he has more, like, runs to do. So he's on a time schedule, but we've never been late before. Am I allowed to say that? Or we've never missed it before? Should I say it? Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. I almost missed a boat one time, though, remember? We did you go back and get my sunglasses, or I did go back and get tickets or something when we were in 
out of the Caribbean. Remember that, Mike? That was scary. Look at those falls. That is gorgeous, you guys. The glacier is just around the corner. All right, Mike, quick picture here, then we'll go down there where those people are. We made it. Look at these falls. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear. That is for real. And there's the glacier, the blue right over there. Goodbye, Mendenhall Glacier. That was awesome. I would spend definitely more time here if I could. We have to get the bus by four o'clock, you guys. It's 3.56. He told us we'd be back by 3.57 so we could load the bus and ski daddle. So I think we are going to make it. I'm a little bit sweaty though. You've noticed on it. I've unzipped my jacket. We walked a little fast, but it was so worth it. First of all, great to get a good walk because we've been on the ship eating for like days. Um, a nice, brisk two mile walk. And to be able to see that waterfall was stupendous. <laughs> no, it, uh, Michael. The second half of our tour today takes us to a salmon bake. So here we are, Chris. You ready to eat salmon? I love Fresh salmon. Alaska salmon? Yes, I'm re ready for that. And I'm also ready for some clam, clam chowder. chowder. They said there's a clam, clam chowder, chowder station first. And you can smell uh. the, the fire burning. Thank you. Look, Nobody, you got nobody's videotaped me today. Is that right? That well, that looks beautiful. Fun. Thank you so I'm, much. You're welcome. Ah, I can't wait. How's the chowder? Good chowder? You like it? Where did the salmon come from? It's local cut. It's from the Pacific Ocean and we have the commercial fisheries, sake fisheries. Fantastic. And what kind is it? Saka. Saka. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Oh, it looks beautiful. Thank you so much. And did you put anything on it or just straight up grill it? This is a plain, this a vegetable oil. Oh, okay. And then grill it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Perfect. Oh my God. Thank you, Michael. Look at that. I wish you guys could smell it. It is beautiful. All right, let's go to our seat. I think we're over there by the river. All right, here's to our first night of fresh salmon. Fresh Alaskan salmon. Oh, it is the real deal. Nice, Mike. <laughs> We finished dinner and now we're walking up this river that where salmon run and this is a waterfall it's so cool and this is like really like right behind where we ate so pretty Mike's telling me this is a gold mine what do you mean a gold mine yeah this is a gold mine do not enter. No, oh my gosh. Oh, a straight up. No way. OMG. Hello. Shut Send up. Send out the gold. That is awesome. Okay, I've never seen a gold mine before. It's like a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> it's like a Scooby Doo episode. Wow, that's really cool. So I guess they pan for gold here. And the salmon jump. This is quite a piece of land, right, Mike? They get salmon and gold here. Boy, that water generates a breeze. <laughs> it, it does. It's That's boy, a cold right? You want to say it's a very, it's a, it's natural oh, um, right. face, yeah, face spread. It's beautiful. Can you guys see? Oh, see that? We made it to downtown Juno after our bake. Look how cute this place is. Adorable. Little outside bar. I like that. I do too. Maybe we should go there. I love. My belly's full though. It doesn't I, matter, Jill. We have to keep eating and drinking. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> this is so cute. We love visiting little towns and seeing like all the native stuff and what they like, jewelry, all of it. This apparently this place has Red Dog has a history. That we oh there we go. We can learn about. <laughs> Oh, 
We have no idea who these people are, but we think this tram is really cool and it's about to go up. So they're gonna go right past okay. us. That's cool. Mike won't let me go on the tram, by the way. <laughs> All I wanna do is go on the tram. And he says, we already did an excursion. We don't wanna go on the tram. Well, kind of. That is super fun. It'd be fun to see our ship from the top too, Michael John. You won't be able to see it because it'd be um, in yes. the clouds. We are heading back onto our ship. You can't see it now, shoot. You can, it's gotten a little foggy, but right there, you guys, is a really cool waterfall. So it's so cool that our ships are like park, parked, docked right here in downtown Juneau. Like it's really a cool, cool um, vantage point. You know, we like sometimes we, a dock a ship or you get on a ship and it pulls into a port and it's like um you know a bit away from the town or from any activity or whatever this is like so far both alaskan towns and my understanding is our third one's gonna be right in town so it's very nice what this is a bit is our two just barges that are together yeah you see they're anchored here so they go up and down on the top oh it's like yeah cool. that's very tides cool up here. oh yeah a lot of big tides yeah. All right, you guys, we are so excited to be here for this show. We came to the um, theater show two nights ago. It was the best show I've ever seen. So tonight, the same cast is doing a different show called Broken Strings, and we are so excited. Here we are. Ah! Here we go. Amazing day in Juno. Juno is our Juno? fun Happy place. Break. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, totally. Juno. In the top 10 of things that I've done in my life this morning, the Dawes Glacier is 100% in the top amazing. 10. That I would do that again and I, mean, I will relive that in my mind forever. It was How about amazing. The little, the little, the little cruise ship with the kayakers going on. Right. The people that? that like left I didn't see the kayakers. Ship. What? what? Right. The people what? that left the ship what? in the. No, no. The people that left the ship in the in morning that, in that, in to that go ship. and check out like into the glacier, they looked like they were little peanuts going. They did, and then we the lost kayakers? them. I didn't. I didn't. Are you them. are you making this up? No. Oh, when did the kayak? And there were kayak. Well, because that was from the additional cruise <laughs> ship Trapeze that was there. Trapeze artists, the kayakers. <laughs> like, she's making, making these so clowns. No, no, clowns. no, 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 no. There were yeah. kayakers. All right, you guys, so if you like this video, be sure to watch yesterday and catch a can where we saw whales in Alaska. Thank you guys. Good Yay, night. Yay, good night. Love you.